What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, just last week, Ryan Edwards and his wife, Mackenzie, they did at least three interviews with The Sun. They talked about how they had not seen Bentley in like a month. They said that Macy was not allowing them to see Bentley. Ryan also said that Macy had put a stop to their therapy sessions. Mackenzie, she said that Macy and her husband, Taylor, were very aggressive people and that um, MTV, like, covered that up for them. She also blamed Macy for being the reason that her children will not have a bond with their older brother, Bentley. She said that as their mother, it's her job to, like, protect them, and she feels like Macy is hurting her children because her children cannot see Bentley, and in her mind, that is Macy's fault. So, during last week when all these interviews were coming out and tabloids were printing these articles, Macy didn't say anything. She didn't tweet anything, but she recently did speak to In Touch Weekly and um, she talked about it a little bit. She, she gave her thoughts on what the Edwards clan has recently said about her. So, I'm going to give you guys a rundown of exactly what Macy had to say. So, in this interview, Macy addressed why Bentley doesn't want to see his dad as well as how she feels about Mackenzie talking to the tabloids about her. Macy did confirm that Ryan is telling the truth and that he has not seen his son in over a month. She said it's true and there are many reasons why, but I'd say the main reason is that Bentley had expressed and kind of set his boundaries on his relationship with his dad and not wanting to be around him until they started going to therapy together. And that hasn't happened, so... Bentley still goes to counseling weekly, and he has obviously learned about boundaries, and he is sticking to them. Now, Bentley's relationship with his dad, that was like the main storyline on the previous season of Teen Mom OG. We got to see Bentley really speak up and talk to his mom, Macy, saying like, I want to go to counseling. I feel uncomfortable around my dad, so I feel like we need to go to counseling, go to therapy, um, so we can work on our relationship. And then, once I feel comfortable with him, maybe I'll be okay going to his house. But until then, I just don't feel comfortable. We got to see all that play out. We got to see Ryan Edwards at first say he wasn't going to go. He's like, no, Macy picked the therapist. Macy picked the counselor. I'm not going to go. He finally gave in and he made a phone call to the therapist or the counselor. I'm not really sure. I guess it's the therapist. Um, he finally made a phone call and he talked to the therapist and he liked the therapist. But from what Macy says, it, it never really went too far beyond that. There was like a couple phone calls and that was pretty much it. So Ryan, with this whole thing that she put a stop to it, that's not really Macy's story here. So, in a recent interview, Ryan claimed that he wasn't going to therapy with Bentley because Macy had put a stop to it. He said, I did go to therapy with Bentley. Macy has kind of put a halt on everything after my dad and Taylor had that argument. The argument being the argument that happened on the reunion where um, Macy and Taylor, they were on one couch and Jen and Larry were on the other couch. And you guys remember, um, Jen actually said that Taylor was jealous of Ryan. <laughs> Um, Dr. Drew was like, you know, Taylor expressed some, some, um, aggravation towards Ryan. He's a little upset with Ryan because of some of the things that Ryan said about his wife. And Jen goes, is he upset with him or is he jealous of Ryan? What's the real reason here? And I'm like, yes, Jen, Taylor is definitely jealous of Ryan, his hair, his rap sheet, his addiction, everything. He's just jealous. I mean, come on, get a grip, girl, get a grip. I don't really like to be ugly towards people, and I like Jen and Larry. I'm not even joking. I pretty much like them. I always like them. I feel like they enable a little bit, but that is a fine line. You really, you know, when you deal with addiction within your family, it's very hard to know that line between enabling and being a support system. Um, and so, I like them for the most part, but when she come out saying that Ryan Edwards, I mean that Taylor was jealous of Ryan Edwards, I literally about fell out of my chair which I'm assuming everyone else that was watching that almost fell out of their chair as well. So that whole reunion was just a crap show. Um, at one point, Larry jumps up like he's ready to rumble with Taylor. Taylor jumps up and, you know, uh, Macy and Jen, they're both pulling him back, telling him to stop. But it was all over Bentley and Ryan and their relationship. And Taylor coming out saying, 
your son has never been a father. Your son has never raised Bentley the way that he should have. I've been there. I've raised him. You guys pressure Bentley to see his dad when he doesn't want to, and we're sick of it. We're not going to stand for it anymore. That caused uh, almost an altercation. So Ryan is saying that since this happened at the reunion, that things have not been the same and that he has not been able to go to therapy and that he has not been able to see his son. Um... And that obviously that caused a huge rift in what little bit of co-parenting they had established, I guess you could say. Now, in this interview that Macy did, she said that Ryan only did one or two phone calls with the therapist. She said nothing progressed beyond that, adding that Bentley had only seen Ryan a couple times this past year. She said, to be quite honest, Ryan doesn't show up to any baseball games or anything like that. It's not shocking that he doesn't see him that much. Ryan, don't go to magazines complaining that you're not seeing your child when you have access to go to the ball games and you just don't go. We know that he's involved in a lot of sports and activities. He does wrestling. He does baseball. So when I go, you don't have to, for you to see your son, you don't have to get him to come over to your mom's house, which I'm sure that would be nice. I'm sure we, it would be nice if you could get him for the weekend. But if that's not happening, then at least go to his ball games, you know. It says here that Macy did not specifically address Ryan's claims that she is the one who stopped allowing the father-son therapy sessions to continue. She did, however, state that it is Bentley's choice not to see his dad right now. Bentley's no idiot, you guys. He's no idiot. She said at this point, even though he is a kid and he doesn't make all the decisions or have the final say about what goes on in his life, it's something where it's his boundaries and that's what he's comfortable with. So as his mom, I'm going to support him on that. I agree with her there. I get what she's saying. She's like, he voices his opinion. And while I still have the final say so, um, I do like to hear his opinion, you know, listen to him, hear him out and take his opinion into consideration. Take his feelings into consideration when it comes to his dad. And I feel like that's the right thing to do. In her recent interview with The Sun, Mackenzie stated that Bentley's absence has made her other kids... Hudson, Jagger, and Stella sad and confused as to why he doesn't come around anymore. Macy did acknowledge that Bentley's relationship with his half-brothers and half-sister has suffered because of his choice not to see his dad. She said, Bentley is such a good big brother to all of his siblings. He loves being a big brother. He has seen Ryan's other kids here and there at his baseball games. Jen and Larry will come and they bring them. But a lot of his tournaments this summer were out of town. So they came to as many as they were, the ones that were close within driving range. They would bring the kids. Bentley still wants to see his siblings. He wants to have a relationship with them and his grandparents. It's still kind of up in the air at this point as far as his relationship with Ryan. As far as Jen and Larry, Macy says she currently has no relationship with them despite having a very close relationship with them. Um, for years before that big fight that went down at the reunion. She said, we really haven't had any conversations or communication at all since the reunion. We have no communication at this time, and we have it for a while. Macy also addressed Mackenzie's recent claims that she has tried several times to reach out to Macy in order to attempt to mend their relationship. Macy confirmed that Mackenzie had made at least two attempts to reach out and that she has ignored both attempts. Macy said, frankly, I didn't respond because number one, if I'm going to put in the effort to try to mend my relationship with them, I would not start with her. I'm truly not being ugly, but she would be the last on my priority list as far as Jen, Larry, and Ryan go. I, I completely understand that. Like, I think first, the people that she usually co-parented with was not even Ryan and Mackenzie to begin with. It was really Jen and Larry. So I think the first people that I might would start with would be Jen and then maybe Ryan because Ryan is the dad, you know. Jen is the one that she really could get along with. Um, but I definitely wouldn't start with, with Mackenzie. I mean, we got to see it play out on Team Mom where Macy thought her and Mackenzie were good. They were going out to lunch. Things were working well. Then Mackenzie went to Jen and Larry and, like, flipped the script. And, like, exaggerated things that happened at the lunch. Like, she literally flipped a script on her. And I'm sure Macy got to see that. So, if I was Macy, there's no way in heck I would trust her again. Like, no, I thought we were cool. I thought we were co-parenting. We went out to lunch. We went out to dinner. We had a nice time. Things were going well. And then you went to Jenna Larry's and ran your mouth about something that wasn't even like it was. And then it screwed the whole thing up. So, no, no, no. I'm not starting with you. I agree with her there. Macy is also unhappy that Mackenzie has been chatting with the tabloids about her. 
She said, also, I haven't responded because she is obviously still talking to the tabloids. So that's not really someone I want to hang out with. I really just laugh it off. I don't read anything they say to the tabloids. I just get text messages about it or tweets about it. Although Ryan and his family were let go from Team Emoji in March, they will appear in at least one episode during the upcoming season, which premieres next week. Uh, and this will be the footage that was filmed before they were fired, which comes right after the reunion. So hopefully we get to see their reaction from what happened at the reunion. That's what I think it is. I've actually read that somewhere that we're actually going to get to see right after the reunion. And then that's it. So yeah, I agree with Macy a thousand percent there. Like, you know, she talks to the tabloids. No, I wouldn't talk to her either. So, you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Macy finally responds to all these interviews that Ryan and Mackenzie has been doing about her. She understands that Mackenzie's kids are suffering, but that's not on her. She's like, Bentley enjoys being a brother, and he gets to see them. Not enough, but that's not his problem. At the end of the day, her responsibility is Bentley, and she is listening to his wishes. She's taking them into consideration, and then her, as the mother... She is doing what she feels she feels is best. And right now, obviously, she feels that it's best to not force Bentley to go see the Edwards Bunch. So, yeah. You guys, let me your thoughts in the comment section below. Macy, always keeping it classy, in my opinion. Um, speaking up on what Ryan and Mackenzie has been saying about her this past week in the tabloids, do you guys agree that Macy should not allow Bentley to see his dad? Do you guys think that... Even if Bentley says he does not want to see his dad, that she should force him to. I want to hear your thoughts. Leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.